welcome guys welcome back to the channel guys real quick well not so quick uh, i'm kind of disappointed guys i am uh disappointed in myself i should know better guys i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm talking about here in a second okay because i've been doing these vehicles <laughs> for the past 20 years actually this car came out in 01 or 19 years you would think by now I would not let this burn me and trick me anymore. But some way, somehow, this still seems to happen to me. And my fear is it's happening or it will happen to you. So I'm going to try to cut that off at the path. In other words, I'm going to tell y'all, uh, I'm going to tell y'all a couple of things. Uh, this vehicle. Now, this is a, y'all can see this, it's a PT Cruiser. Uh, you can also see based on this center console piece here, it's a Gen 1. It don't really matter the gens, but uh, it do matter. Well, it don't really matter anything. Let me tell y'all what I'm talking about. Let me get on with it. Um, this is the car I just did. Let's go outside. This is the one I just did. The, uh, I got the AC on now. I just did the timing belt on, guys. Now, as you know, well, some of you know. I mean, some of you guys are so uh, against taking things off. You may not know. Oh, here's the old timing belt. Okay, yes, I have to take this off when I do a timing belt because I want this out of my way. Which means in order to get it off, you got to drain the AC, right? So I got the AC drain. Now, I'm going back together with it now. Mind you, I'm done with the job. Put everything back together. It's time to close up the AC line and refill the system back up with Freon. Well, guess what, guys? I got it filled up with Freon, and guess what's not happening? Okay, um, what's not happening is the fan's not coming on. Now, y'all know AC triggers fan operation on this particular car okay the cooling temp sensor and ac uh triggers fan operation i have the ac on it's cold inside now when the high side pressure reaches a certain threshold the fan is supposed to come on do y'all feel that jerking that's because the fan is actually being commanded to come on but it's not it's like it's pulling the whole electrical system down yeah so i did not catch this until i'm done so now guys here's my biggest fear of all i hate when this happens we have to call the customer back and tell them they need a fan now what are ways around this what are, what is ways around this from happening do you should you check the fan uh before you should you check the fan during your diagnosis mind you it's not in for overheating it's not in for any problem to so just say i'm at a hundred thousand miles it's time for my timing belt uh, I want JT to do it. This is the one I spoke about earlier. I hope I've already uploaded that video so y'all won't be lost. Well, me, okay, sure. I'm gonna knock it out. Knock it out. Reinstall the Freon that I reclaimed just to find out. AC cold, AC working, lines freezing, but no fan operation, guys. Okay, this will drive your high side pressure up too high. You got to have that fan blowing across that condenser to suck in air um, so you can lower that pressure back it's a cycle guys but my point is i don't want you guys i don't want this to happen to you guys so i suggest man anytime you got a pt cruise in your stall for any problem because that is a known problem <laughs> i highly recommend you check that first make sure the fan it don't matter what the complaint is all right because this again it's not in for overheating in fact it may not be overheating I mean, the customer may be one of those customers that get in it and go on the freeway and go where they need to go and come back. At that point, you don't even need fan operation, okay? The demand for the fan to come on is not always present during every trip. So they might not even notice that it's not coming on. It might not even get to the point where it would overheat. Or I could be wrong. It could be overheating and they suspect a timing belt and water pump will fix that. I don't know. All I know is they came in and requested a timing belt and water pump. Did they have an overheating problem and think the water pump would correct it? Again, I don't know. But I've reached a point of my biggest fear on every car I work on. Guys, I hate calling the customer back asking for more money. Okay. I've, I've gone so far as to put parts on anyway and we try to adjust the estimate to compensate because i might even lose some labor time that's just how bad i hate that but there's no way around this number one we don't even the fans not even available through mopar anymore it's discontinued so we have to call an aftermarket place to get it y'all see how bad the fan is pulling down the system 
You can tell when the fan commanded to come on. Watch this. Right there. Y'all see that jerk? The fan was commanded to come on. And it sent the power supply to it in the ground, but the fan pulled the circuit, pulled the, <laughs> the complete electrical system down with it. That's why if you get a PT Cruiser that's jerking and burking uh, with AC on or even idling at that point, uh, you got a hard jerk sometime or vibration sometime. Guys, that is the fan. Okay, it's just pulling down the whole electrical system for some reason. I hate when this happened, especially uh, to me. Yes, I would have never found that had I not <laughs> put the Freon back in the car. She's entitled to her Freon. We reclaimed it to make the repair. All right, so I don't know, guys. Uh, we'll see what happens for now. All right, guys, so yeah, let me take these off. Uh, now, I hear a fan running. Okay, yeah, the fan is on. Guys, you know what? I bet you that is. Let's go look at something. Yes, that temp hand is over half, halfway mark. Guys, that is the high-speed fan. Also, keep in mind, this is a two-speed fan setup, okay? Two-speed fan motor, low speed and a high speed. Now, the high-speed fan, you can hear the fan running now. That's because it has reached the threshold for high speed to come on. <laughs> okay, so that's probably why the customer never came in for overheating because never the car doesn't overheat. By the time it's in the range, of overheating which is probably halfway uh after halfway mark on the gauge uh the high speed fan will kick in and lower the pressure or lower the temperature back down okay but a car can't live on high speed fan alone guys so the fan is working not so much the fan is working but high speed fan motor is working it's just the low speed fan that's burnt out and also keep in mind the low speed fan is the one that gets the most work guys it runs all the time okay it's trying to keep the ac pressure down and it's trying to keep the car from overheating the high speed fan hardly gets any work in fact if the high speed fan come on you have problems okay that's likely why it doesn't get any work uh because like i say if everything's doing its job there shouldn't be no need for the high speed fan all right so it all boils down to this i need a fan motor you can't get low speed fan motor back you can't replace the fan nowadays they come as an assembly so i need a new assembly in order to get low speed fan and high speed fan working high speed fan already working on this but we got to have low speed fan all right so i thought i'd just run that by you guys uh so you won't make a mistake man just anytime you got a p mechanics to work at a shop when you get one come in <laughs> check the operation of the fan first that'll save you a lot of grief and headache and embarrassment of calling the customer back I don't want this car to overheat. The high speed fan is still on. See, yeah, I'm hovering around. It's trying to bring it back down to halfway mark. So guys, let me write up this estimate and they got just gonna have to call it back. Now I may be a nice guy and just not charge any labor. It's fairly easy. Uh, uh, did I drop the ball? It's hard to say. I, I'm more upset with myself. So the company can't explain my uh, self, you know, the what I'm going through. So. Yes, I would do this for free. If the customer would pay for the part, I would install the fan for free. But I'm not paying for the part. No, I will lose a little labor time to make it right. Partly because I feel I'm to blame. Even though, don't get me wrong, it didn't come in for overheating or anything like that. Only way I found out is I was... Now, could you imagine if I didn't pay that any attention? If I just filled that Freon up and let it go. A week later, customer come back. I just spent all this money. My car overheated. So that's what I mean by retesting everything, everything, no matter the subject or the topic you was uh, working on, retest everything, guys. Fan is an essential part of the car's overall performance, all right? Ooh, I'm talking too much. Guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.